All right, on problem 13, here I have two equations, two inequalities, x plus y greater than 5. The second inequality is negative 2x plus y less than or equal to 2. So let's graph the first inequality, again using the x and y intercepts. So we're going to, to find the y intercept, we'll let x be 0. And to find the uh, y, or to find the x intercept, let y be 0. So if I let x be 0, if I let x be 0, that means y is going to be equal to 5. If I let y be 0, that means x is equal to 5. So here I have 0, comma 5, and I have 5, comma 0. Those are my two points. And I go ahead and I'm going to draw that line. And then I'm going to choose 0, 0 as my, point, as my test point and I replace x and y with 0, is 0 greater than 5? And the answer is no. So I'm going to shade then on the other side, on the opposite side of the origin. Okay. I should add that there's no equal to here, so that means that this line is going to be a dotted line, not a solid line, to show that the actual solution does not include the points or the ordered pairs on that line. So let's go to the second inequality now. So 2x plus y less than or equal to 2. Again, using intercepts. Now, I'm going to let find the y-intercept by letting x be 0. So then I have y equals 2. So I have 0, comma 2. And then I'm going to let y be 0. So now I have negative 2x equal to 2. So that means x is equal to negative 1. So I have negative 1 comma 0. This line has an equal, so it's going to be solid. So let's draw this line. Okay. And again, using 0, 0 as my test point, is 0 less than or equal to 2? And the answer to that is yes. So I'm going to be shading this region. So my common shaded region, let me pick a totally different color to make sure we clearly see that. Let's pick yellow. So my common shaded region then is going to be this area right in through here. And it'll continue on going forever. All right, we're done.